Congratulations on your new Camp Stove 2, our latest update to our portable camping stove, now featuring 50% more power, onboard battery storage, and a new LED dashboard. In this video, you'll find quick tips on setup, fire starting, cooking, charging, shutdown, and safety. Let's get started. Your Camp Stove 2 comes in two parts, the orange power module and the stainless steel burn chamber. If you want to get a head start on your power supply, you can pre-charge your power module at home via the micro USB located underneath. To assemble the Camp Stove 2, insert the power module's probe into the burn chamber and lock it into place by extending the legs below. Set it on stable ground clear of any branches and remove any debris or brush from the surrounding area. Now's a good time to get to know the LED dashboard. The orange lights on the left represent the strength of your fire, an indicator of how much heat you're producing. Relatedly, the green lights on the right side show how much power is available to you for charging devices, which will be impacted by the power you generate from your fire. Lastly, the middle blue lights represent four fan speeds available to you to control the airflow and intensity of your flames. Good fire starting starts with good fuel. We recommend using harder woods like oak or maple, which burn longer than fir or pine. You can also use BioLite Food Safe pellets, which can burn for extended periods of time without any need to refuel. Quick heads up, do not use charcoal, and do not use liquid fuels in your camp stove too. Also, avoid using damp or green wood, as it'll cause a lot of smoking. If it bends instead of snaps, that's a sign you shouldn't use it. Loosely pack the burn chamber with fuel. Two important things here. One, don't overstuff the chamber. This will prevent airflow for proper combustion. Two. Don't extend your fuel beyond the last row of air jets. This can present a burn hazard and obstruct your ability to place cooking accessories on top of the camp stove. Break off a small piece of fire starter included with your stove and light with a match or lighter and place inside the burn chamber. If you're in windy conditions, we recommend using a barbecue lighter and lighting directly inside the stove. And if you're using pellets, fill up the chamber about three quarters of the way, leaving the last ring of air jets exposed. Once hot enough, the Camp Stove 2's fan system will automatically kick in and start providing air to your fire. If you want to expedite the process, you can press the power button twice to the lowest fan setting. But be careful, this may snuff out a weak flame. As your fire builds, start to add pieces of fuel that are larger in diameter. This will reduce the amount of times you need to refuel, and it'll build a hot, sustained fire. Twigs and brush are great for fire starting, but avoid using them as the main fuel source for your fire. They'll burn quickly, and they won't produce a hot flame. The Camp Stove 2 is a fully functioning cook stove, accommodating a range of camping cookware, including the BioLite portable grill, kettle pot, and coffee press. Whenever using cookware with a handle, make sure it is aligned with the power module so flames are diverted away. And if you're using the portable grill, make sure it's facing away from the power module. A couple other tips on the portable grill. The grill's fuel hatch allows access to the flame, but don't overstuff with fuel. Stay at the jets. This shouldn't change the way that you load the stove. To avoid overheating the camp stove, keep your fan on the first two settings. And lastly, you will have a big flame, but flames should not be shooting out of the grill. You run the risk of overheating your unit. If your fire is getting too hot for your cooking needs, you can do two things. One, stop refueling and let the fire die down a bit. Or two, lower your fan speed to reduce airflow and produce a smaller fire. If you're looking to boil, set your fan to the highest setting. But if you're looking to simmer or just enjoy your campfire, use the lowest two settings. Be sure to check out the BioLite blog for an awesome array of recipes you can make with your Camp Stove 2 system. Pro tip, if you're using the portable grill, toss in some barbecue wood chips for extra flavor. The Camp Stove 2 uses a thermoelectric generator to capture heat from its fire and produce three watts of electricity that you can use to charge phones, cameras, and other gear around your campsite. It also features an onboard 2600 milliamp hour battery that can store energy so you can charge even when the fire isn't burning. And as a quick reminder, you can pre-charge that internal battery at home via micro USB. To see how much power you've got available, press the button on the power module once. The green lights will illuminate to show how full the internal battery is and will activate charge out. A full battery will provide a full phone charge and will charge as fast as a typical USB power bank. As you deplete your battery, the green lights will decrease. They'll light back up as you produce electricity from the heat of your fire. To charge devices, simply plug into the USB port located directly below the LED dashboard. Do not use the micro USB port. That's for charge-in only. Your kit also includes a USB flex light that you can use to light your surroundings at night. 
Just plug it into the USB port and tap on or off with your finger or press and hold to dim. When the internal battery is below 10%, it'll stop charging external devices and reserve power to keep the internal airflow system running. To re-engage charge out, increase your fire to generate more power. If you plug in a device when the battery is hovering around 10%, you may notice it charges in cycles. That's normal. Thanks to the internal battery, you can also use the power module independently as a power bank when the camp stove isn't running. As a reminder, the stronger the fire, the more power you'll generate. This is where checking the orange lights on the left becomes really helpful. However, if your fire gets too hot, the camp stove will issue a temperature alert. The orange LEDs will start flashing all at once. This means your battery needs to cool down. Stop refueling immediately. The fan will automatically turn to the highest setting to assist with cool down. If the cam stove doesn't start to cool down within a few minutes, the fan will shut off completely. When your unit is sufficiently cooled down, the lights will stop flashing and you can re-engage charging devices. The cam stove 2 will burn fuel down to ash and turn itself off when the internal temperature is cool enough. If you try to turn the fan off and then it turns itself back on, that means the inner chamber is still too hot. Dump out remaining ash in a fire ring or ash bin or by digging a small hole and covering it with dirt and water. Do not leave any embers behind. Those can start fires. Also, don't try to dump out the cam stove too when a live fire is going. If you're looking to expedite shutdown, turn your fan to the highest setting and stop refueling. And don't pour water into the burn chamber. When the stove is sufficiently cool, you can take it apart and nest it. Pro tip, if you're concerned about residue, place the power module inside the included stuff sack and then place that inside your burn chamber. And if you have a kettle pot, that serves as a carrying case for your stove. If you want to clean your power module at home, wipe it down with a damp cloth, but don't submerge it in water. And if you are using the portable grill, wipe down with a wire brush and always dry thoroughly. Lastly, a few quick safety tips before you're on your way. The Cam Stove 2 is for outdoor use only. If you've got kids with you, great. Have them collect sticks and pine cones for the stove but let the adults do the actual refueling and burning. When the stove is in use, do not touch any metal parts of the stove. They get really, really hot. If you've got a big flame going, make sure it's downwind of the power module. And lastly, burn regulations vary from park to park and by season. Check with your local ranger for details regarding your specific area. Thanks for watching, and we hope you have a great time in the outdoors with your camp stove too.
Fire Solo Stove. Since 2011, we've been making super efficient wood burning backpacking and camping stoves. Our unique patented design doesn't require any bulky batteries or fans. All you need is a handful of twigs or sticks. Year after year, we enjoy interacting with the growing number of Solo Stove users. We're grateful that they trust our products enough to take with them on their most memorable adventures. We believe that time spent outdoors with family and friends can create some of life's most precious and meaningful moments. But with our lives becoming busier and busier, spending time with those we care about is becoming more difficult. So we're making it easier for you to spend more time with family and friends outdoors. Introducing the Solo Stove Bonfire, a backyard fire pit like you've never seen before. The Bonfire uses the same patented design and technology as our other Solo Stoves, but it's our largest model yet. It's designed with a unique double wall, which allows airflow through the bottom holes of the Bonfire to channel air to the bottom of the fire and up between the walls. This preheated air allows the fire to burn more complete, which results in a more efficient fire with very little smoke. A more efficient burn means you'll get more fire from your logs compared to an open fire pit. The bonfire is super durable, made out of premium 304 stainless steel and is backed by a lifetime guarantee. We can't wait to bring the soothing ambiance, the dancing flames, and the rustic smell of a glowing campfire straight to your backyard. We're excited to play a small part in bringing you together with family and friends in the outdoors. Become a backer and be the first to experience the Solo Stove Bonfire. Firebox is a true folding stove with hinged panels. The upwards angle creates flame velocity and crossing the sticks creates turbulence. As soon as the flames go out, I'll put the stake on. Which is going to be awesome. Oh look, it fits perfect. It does fit perfect. <laughs> creates the perfect one-inch headspace. Anki Stove and have been working for years to find a strong ecological alternative to gas and coal cooking and heating. Your contribution has helped us to take the Enki technology one step further by making it increasingly accessible and easier to use. Say hello to Enki Stove Hob, the ultimate cooking station for your outdoor days. Hob is perfect for dinners in the garden, in the terrace, and for outdoor trips. Set the cooking station directly on the table, cook with your guests, and don't worry about the smoke. Save your energy and time you would spend to manage the coal or gas tanks and dedicate it to have fun with your friends. Cooking with Hob is very simple. Insert pellets and wood into the tank. Turn on like a normal fire and place the plate. Select the perfect temperature for each plate with the lever and you will be immediately ready to cook your favorite dishes in a few minutes. Inky Stove's patented technology guarantees a smokeless, safe, and long-lasting flame. The process at the base is called pryolysis, a process that extracts the gas contained in the wood and burns it more efficiently, avoiding the emission of smoke.
we have succeeded with you in winning the biggest challenge. Now with Enki Stove Hob, you can turn on and adjust your fire totally off-grid. Using Hob is good for the environment and your health. The supplied plate is in die-cast aluminum. It transfers heat gradually and naturally, protecting the nutritional values of food. Many things have changed since the first campaign, but our values are still the same. Enki Stove Hub is the cooking station that brings fire back to the center, as it always has been. Fire brings people together, warms them up, and nourishes them. Doing it without smoke and in an ecological way makes it even more fascinating. Support the campaign and help us to further develop this technology that is good for the environment the thing that is most important to all of us.